All right, now it is time for you guys to throw some questions at me. And I guess you each get one. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. um, can I go first? Is that Please right? Please do, yeah. So mine is, I thought I was going to ask you something about moving it all forward and where we go and all that kind of thing. And then I thought, no, there is a gap in my knowledge that I would like to know. My story about you, Doug, is that there you were doing your physiotherapy, seeing clients, fixing them, they're going away and they're coming back with the same problem. And you go, there's got to be something more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next thing I know about you is that we've got the be activated system. What I don't know is how did you get <laughs> from there to there? So how did, where did you start with finding that work? Um, so, so I would say, if I, if I really were to draw back the curtain as far as I can, I, I would say that um, it never started with a physio. Physio just was a, a thing to do. Um, I've always been a communicator. I've always, I can communicate, I can share ideas, but I can also extract ideas. So, um, Growing up, people would just tell me stuff and I'd be going, um, why are you telling me this? I feel safe enough to tell you. So, so there, was, there, there was almost like a, a thing there. And then um, I got into things about the power of the mind at about 16 um, and, and read a lot and learned a lot. And even when I was at school, I did a, one of the adult education courses was reflexology. I did that. I did public speaking. So I'm doing it with parents. Everyone's like, why? This is for the adults. Now I want to do this stuff. I like the reflexology. I like the public speaking. Um, and the interesting part was I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew pretty much nothing. So I went initially to the Department of Manpower, did all these hours of testing and, and they came back and they thought they were really funny. And I thought it was quite funny and quite cool at the time, but they literally, the lady throws down the whole book of careers and goes, pick one. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? She goes, you don't fit on any of our scales. You have interests in every area. You can go do any of them. And I'm like, oh, Thanks, I think. But actually, all it did was it, 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 it's a little bit like be activated because people get it and they go, crap, this can go anywhere. I go, I know. And it, that's, that's actually a strength, but it's actually a huge weakness too, because which one do you pick? So at some point, you have to pick something. So my dad um, organized a session for me to sit with a friend of his. And we just went through and basically he whittled it down. He said, you, you're probably best suited in the world of healing, um, probably as a chiropractor. Um, but in South Africa, at that particular point, the chiros weren't recognized at all, but the physios were. So, so he said, you know, what a lot of people are doing is they're studying physio, doing the four years, get the degree, and then they do a conversion. Because otherwise you've got to go over to the US for six years. And it was very difficult in those times. So I kind of went, okay, cool, I'll do that. Um, and, you know, because, because I was all out there, like I didn't study at school. I, um, and, and so by the time I finished school, I, I, this is quite a fun story. The only reason I actually even got a decent matric, not an amazing matric, a decent matric, was because I, I was driving really fast to go find surf, which is a general trend in my life. And I was going 107.1 in a 60 zone. Um, <laughs> and I saw the trap and I braked. And so the fine was so big that I had to sell a surfboard to, to do it, which meant my parents had to find out that what I'd done. My dad confiscated my car and grounded me for three months. So I actually studied. So I got a matric exemption, which meant I could get into university, not enough to get into physio, but now I decided to do physio. And um, because physio, it was easier to be a doctor than to get into physio because there were 30 places and there were usually about 900 applicants. 
So you had to be, and 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 so I, I started first year, I did social science um, where I, I chose all varied things. I actually did maths and chemistry um, in, in a social science degree because I thought it was fun as well as um, uh, things like business things and psychology and um, it just again varied very even eventually I got myself into physio to be quite honest quite soon after I got in I went what the fuck is this this is this is not what I signed up for you know going into hospital and working with stroke patients that was quite interesting going and working with chest patients and, and, and kind of clearing sputum, sorry, not what I signed on for, but, but that's because I didn't do my research. But, but it was amazing that a lot of the people I was studying with also didn't know that that was going to be part of it. Um, but, but basically, by the time I qualified, um, I already knew that this, this, I was frustrated, I was uncomfortable, and I'd been learning stuff, you know, like before I even got my, did the, the graduation ceremony, where I was already doing acupuncture courses, um, using that try and, 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 and bringing in all these other things. Um, I've done, yeah, so, so many things. I got into the world of applied kinesiology. There was some amazing stuff. I really thought there's the answer until I found that there was the same mentality going on where nobody actually understood why something was happening. They're doing it because someone else taught them this, who taught them this. And, and, and that, and, and so I had a bit of a pushback, where the, because that's what I do too. When when I when when I'm watching six groups fight over who owns what, and you may have the answer, that pisses me off. So I you know and 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 I I'm I'm quite a, a wild child with that. So I kind of flex up and tell you to bugger off and go off and do my own thing. But um, it, I I think I love learning, but 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 learning in itself just gives you more information it has to be whittled down into something that makes sense so I was building stuff and I was doing stuff and I didn't know I was doing it uh, until somebody went can you teach and then I had to systemize it and 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 what I started teaching and what I'm doing now it changed it, there was a there was a framework but it, it, it grew and so it, it really is years and years of time and struggle and learning and and, and investment in so many different things you know it's be, because I, I don't ever want to say oh no i don't like that because someone will say well why not have you tried it oh no i haven't so i try everything i'll i'll go and learn and i'll and and and, and sometimes i've had to i've had to go go to lectures halfway through a workshop and say listen I, i'm gonna leave and they go thank you i'm glad you're gonna leave there were, there was one particular guy who said i swear i feel like your energy has you it's like you have your hands around my throat i, I think you really don't like what i'm teaching i said that's really weird because that's what i feel i'm doing so apparently i can extend my energy <laughs> but 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 the thing is that i think i think the what it pulls back to is I have this belief in the human condition. I think we're amazing. I think we are miracles waiting to happen. And I think somehow we have learned that we're not. We've learned that we are small and weak and vulnerable. Somebody else must save us. Somebody else has the answer. And I think that's bullshit. I think we are strong. We are powerful beyond measure. I think our ability to heal and love and our capacity for finding solutions is insane except we've all been taught from day dot that we're not. And I think that's my driver. I think that's my driver on, on how, do, how do I tap more into that myself? And how do I then share what I know? And then that's like, you know, you, you were on the, the hack program. It, you know, I like the fact that Carl had said you know initially when you started talking about this i thought oh this is a business thing this is you just trying to generate something and then when you started that hack program i realized this is just you you're passionate you love it and you're sharing what worked for you and i said yep that's it it's like that that's why like when people like when you say how do i buy more of these things i'm like oh 
I didn't even think about that yet. I'm okay. just, <laughs> you know, and, and there are a lot of people out there going, oh, Doug, you're really shitty at this part. I go, yeah, but I'm sharing an idea. I'm the kid. You know, I need to hand over to someone else who knows, and not even knows how to do that stuff. I know how to do that stuff, but, but that's not the passion. The passion is, you know, this is, guys, this is what I did. This is, this is what it did for me. Come, what does, did it make a difference for you? And what's the difference? I feel more, I feel more like Doug. I feel powerful in myself. I feel less distracted by the outside chaos. And therefore I can get on purpose and I can do things that are important to me and, and, and make decisions that are important to me, which means they come from a place of integrity that I'm conserved better. And, and, and yeah, so, so it's like, um, we are amazing. We are amazing. People are amazing and we've forgotten, you know, and maybe, you know, all the stuff out there that says, you know, people must wake up. What, must, what, what do you need to wake up to? What you need to do is you need to turn inwards and you need to realize that everything you're looking for is inside you already and you have to just find tools to access it. It's there. We want to help you with what we know. And if you've got something that's different or better, we want to know that too, because we need it. We all need it. Which reminds me, I must get Rosh me in a butt bungee. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sounds really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll be zooting around wherever, whatever space you're in afterwards going, holy crap, how did I ever live without this? Wow. wow. Is that something you can do on Zoom with me or, or face to face? Well, you well on, one, one, once, you have, once you have the tool, for sure. Yeah. I'll but but actually, I wouldn't need to because Linda's really good at this because <laughs> she told me about she gave her one up to one of her Parkinson's patients yeah. who, was, who was zooting around after that and doing yeah. what make it, making something in her left arm. Did her, when, I've been asking her, we, we just did some functional. Um, I had a word with Sue Pratt before I started working with her and we just did some. Uh, a little functional list of things that she was finding difficult, the things that were impairing her. And one was getting her walking boots on because she loves walking and her left walking boot was really hard to pull on because her hand wouldn't work properly and her foot wouldn't work properly. So that was number one. And the other was lifting her big pan. And she had this big pan that she makes marmalade in. And last week she just, she made her marmalade, she lifted it and she tipped it without thinking about it just did it it was only when she'd done it she realized that she hadn't thought wow. preparing her left hand wow so um so wow. that was, and we all have a metaphorical pot of marmalade don't we yeah yeah <laughs> and, and 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 so and and so her big pot of marmalade is her passion and 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 so suddenly the thing you're passionate about every time you go there the first thing you think of, oh, I hope my arm can do it. How am I going to do that? And, and you lose the passion because, mm. because the things that are in the way are making more noise, taking, and, mm. and when you suddenly go, oh, wow, I didn't, I, I, did, I didn't even think about it. I just did it. It's like, absolutely. I wonder what else you can do. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Awesome. We're at that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. But yeah. yeah. Thank you. Nice. All right. Question number two. Question number two from me. <clears throat> so um, a lot of my work and my research is in the area of racial trauma. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, Doug, um, whether you have worked with, I mean, you've worked all over the world by the sounds of it. So I'm guessing you've worked with all kinds of bodies, black, brown, white, all kinds of bodies. And I wonder if you have any comments to make about anything you have noticed about bodies, patterning in bodies and racial trauma specifically. Hmm. I knew she'd have a good question. Well, you know, um, early on in the interview series, I, I had a chat with Pete from Milwaukee and 
the reason I went to Milwaukee in the first place um, wasn't because I had some great desire. It was because when Pete and I had been talking, basically he said that Milwaukee was the most divided city in America. It is, absolutely, yeah. And so because in his gym and his work, his, his vision is they are working with leaders to make them better so they're better in their communities. And a lot of his clients are are men and they are black men and they are leaders in their community and so we started a conversation and and he'd said that they were intrigued by me and they were they'd like to meet with me um and so part of part of a big part of me going to milwaukee to do, run a workshop was for that and the and 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 one of the guys said you have answers. Why aren't you doing this in South Africa? I, I said, there's a problem because in South Africa, I am the white male. I am the problem. So for me to come and say, I have a solution for you with actually no embodied understanding of mm. the traumas, mm. I, 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 I'm, I'm, the low, I'm, I'm the lowest level on that, um, on that ladder. And so I said, the reason I'm in Milwaukee to have very difficult, and it was I was having difficult conversations with them. I'm here to have difficult conversations to see if I can help you find answers within what you do in your communities, that I may learn something in this environment that will allow me to have a conversation here. <laughs> so I, I, um, all, I also, so, so, so that's one component. And another component is um, Carl and I did some training of, of some athletes, uh, top Olympic athletes um, a while ago. And they were awesome. And, and, and the, the antagonist in the group was the agent who mm -hmm. had a chip on his shoulder about his past and his thing. And the we were doing a an afternoon and a morning and in in that that evening we had we had to sit and basically it was him him and me against like having this real serious intense not even a conversation because it was really stupid but but basically he his filter was well i walked in and you're the white male telling the black athletes what to do mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the coach and the physio and mm -hmm. are all sitting there with eyes like this going really is that what was going on mm -hmm. well, i'm glad you saw that none of the athletes saw that mm -hmm. and 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 we literally had an hour and a half of of like this and, mm -hmm. and six times he pulled the race card and the and and i said to him listen i i need to share one thing with you you can use that with anybody else and it'll be it'll be a power play in your book it's not going to work with me because if you remember correctly, when we first were having the conversation, we offered our services for next to nothing. Mm -hmm. Then you personally became a dickhead. And when you became a dickhead, it became business. So then you got the normal cost. So you want to bitch and moan about how much you charge, you being charged. That was you. It had to, I didn't know if you were black or white or colored or whatever. And colored in South Africa is a racial. Yes, I know. Yeah, so I, in America is going. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Don't be shocked if, yeah, no, if I know. you tell a colored person that they you can't they're not colored. They are offended. Yes, I know. Every yeah, country yeah. is different, but but it was amazing because the the athletes understood that we were there to see if we could help them be better. The, you know, the, the, these are people who hold South African records, African records, and a couple of them, if there were Olympics, were, were looking for silvers and golds. And, and our job was to add value. That's it. And, and, and so I, I, I think the, the hardest part when it comes to that is that it's so difficult to have open, honest conversation because there's so many edges. There's so much, you know, where you're meant to feel guilt and you're meant to feel shame. But the problem is, if I, if it, almost like we spoke about in the previous part, if I arrive in a conversation 
where we want to talk about healing and understanding the past. Mm -hmm. I come in with the guilt and shame of my ancestors. Mm -hmm. I'm already not bringing myself to the conversation. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it, it makes it so difficult to, to meet each other. And I, I think this is the, the toughest part in all of these issues is that how, how, do we, how do we find ways for different groups to understand each other and, and understand that our differences are important. Our history mm -hmm. is also important. We, we can, but, but, but we can't live in that history and we can't be spending our lives apologizing for what happened 200 years ago, because then we're missing the point of what are we going to do about it now? How do we grow and progress now? Which is kind of back to what, what Linda was saying, when the, how do we work with what's here right now? You know, and, 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 and I'm sure that there are answers there and I'm sure there are solutions. They may never be perfect. You know, we, we never want to deny history. But if we stuck in history, which is which is any psychotherapy thing, is when when I repeat the same story over and over, mm -hmm. I'm stuck in my history, I can never progress. And I think I think there's a lot of talk and there's a lot of blame, but there's a there's 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 not enough of people actually seeking seeking a, a way forward. I don't know. I personally don't know what the answers are, but 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 it's like how do how do we approach each other with with respect? How do mm -hmm. we how do we not want to, and, and, and the thing is that, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's tough. You know, I think the, the expert really on this would be, would be Desmond, Bishop Desmond Tutu, um, you know, because he ran the Truth and Reconciliation. And, 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 and so here he was bringing that, you know, serious stuff and bringing two parties together and having, helping them in, in, in a, to, to have, proper conversation mm. i know i know i actually haven't answered what you said Do yeah other it, it's actually this is the thing for me is there anything that you've noticed in what actually physically working doing your be activated and and all the other things that you do with actual physical bodies do you notice something about racial trauma patterning in bodies um I think I think in that in that question I can say I've not even put it into my radar mm -hmm. to consider that, and mm -hmm. and I, and I think because of your question I would have to. I mm -hmm. think I, I think you know I I'm I'm generally working with what's there and when mm -hmm. and when I'm feeling stuff with someone we'll have that conversation but I can't say I specifically have thought if this then that. Uh, or, or the, you know, like a lot of times we see patterns, but I can't say I've seen a specific pattern. Um, and it, and yeah, it may, and it may me, be I think, because I just wasn't noticing and wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and for me, it comes down to something about impact. So obviously all trauma impacts the body. But racial trauma has a particular kind of impact. And so I'm wondering what you've noticed about the impact of that on the body on yeah. different color bodies, not just black bodies and brown bodies, white bodies, you know, we all have a body and we all have yeah, a skin yeah. color. Do you know, do you know I, think, I, I think that's one of those things that, that, that it, it, and, and this, is, this is what I, one of the things I say in the workshops is the, the goal of teaching is not always to give you the answers. No, sure. But, it, but it's to help you ask better questions. Mm. And, I, and I think that, that's one of those questions that I would have to say, I don't think I have an answer to, but I'm, I'm going to let it go in here and let my brain go work with it and, 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 and see what, what rises because yeah, consciously I haven't, I, I, I haven't actually considered that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting to see if we could do something around that, Roshmi. Yeah. I would love to do something around that. I would love to do something. You're in contact with. Mm. Cool. Well, that that that, cer that certainly is something we can we 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 can keep a channel open because yeah, I don't know what it would look like. I I I, I, I don't know at all. And it begs the question to me whether trauma is trauma, and whether trauma just has 
you know, ways of presenting and whether you could ever identify mm -hmm. that came from a specific source. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a particular yeah, but, 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 it, but it's certainly, it, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's a good question to, to mm -hmm. ponder on because it's, it may, it, you know, one, one may realize that, that, that actually um, trauma is trauma. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there they, 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 are just so many components to that. And, and so I, many components, yeah. And, 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 and I, I want to draw from, um, there's a lady, Ray Johnston, who writes about embodied social justice. Um, and one of the things that she talks about is how people from, and I'm not just talking racial now, but people right. from different, what you would call marginalized groups, take up space differently in the world to people from dominant groups. Yeah, so for example, in the UK, you know, a brown person will take up space in the world differently, will use touch differently, will use eye contact differently, will use gesture and facial expression differently. Yeah, so it comes from that strand of, okay, so that's what we might notice behaviorally in the world. We might notice that you know, I don't immediately go and sit in the limelight as a brown body. I will let a white person take, you know, a different space. Or I'm not the first to touch. I will wait for touch to be instigated by a white person, for example. Right, right, right. So those are the behaviours one might notice. But for me, the work is, and then deep down, what else gets set, yeah, mm -hmm. in the, in the, in the body well i I, th I think here's here's what's really this is what comes up for me so let's say i'm fully integrated in a one two three and in the best place possible in my environment right here right now in my office and then you put me in another environment with um I, it, just a different environment that's got more stress, more pressure. And let's say I'm resilient there and I remain. And so what's interesting is to see how different people behave in almost the, how, how does the system's integrity hold in the different environments that they do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, to, to be honest, one of the conversations I had with one of the gentlemen in Milwaukee was, and, and, I know this is probably going to, um, these kind of conversations get people upset. And I, I'd, mm -hmm. I'd said to him, I'm just going to tell you what I see, because that's all I can ever do. And I'd say that a lot when I'm reflecting to people. I said, out of all of these guys, you're the one going into a white environment. Yes. Trying to be white. Yes. And, yes. and, and you are exceptional as you are. And, and when, when you try to be that, you are going to undermine the thing that makes you unique and stronger than the rest. If, because otherwise you're just another one of them. And, and, and for me, that, that was, because he came for a one-on-one -on -one session, that would be the conversation I would have. So, so, so there, it's not actually a black or white conversation. It's about how do you remain yourself no matter what the environment is i could be having this conversation with a teenager who i could be having this with my son when you're with your mates you're like this then we add a couple of girls or we add um this guy that you don't like dude how different you become if you are doing your work you can remain the same human being you can up and down the amplification the intensity but you don't change who you are. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so maybe integrated individuals would be, and, and this is no matter what color they are, that, that when you go into different environments, you don't change you in order to yes, exist yes. in that space. Yes, 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 yes. And I, and I think that's a really valid point. And I, I absolutely see that. 
there's just something about racialization that means that marginalized groups have traditionally had to change who they are in order oh, to survive. Ab 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 absolutely. But, but, but the thing is that it, it, it's kind of like we're talking about with COVID. If, mm -hmm. if, if we're waiting for somebody else to tell us it's okay, tell us what to do, um, mm -hmm. give us the answer. Whereas all the work has got to start with ourselves. Mm -hmm. because, because if, 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 if we're doing a, a power thing and, and it's like, well, because of color, um, I have to give up power because of this. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do anything. It's mm -hmm. worse. If, if, if you're, so, so therefore the conversation I would have with you as, as the, in a facilitated process would be, how do we get you noticing when you are diminishing yourself? And how do we get you and your, your system to maintain and to stay exactly mm -hmm. where you were before? Because, and, 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 and sorry, now my brain's going, okay, it's mm -hmm. working up at last. So now you want to talk ancestral history. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to do it differently. Mm -hmm. Right now, is anyone doing it differently? No, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot mm -hmm. of conversation. But there's a lot of noise, yeah. There's a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. But, but if, if I keep claiming the role of victim, then that's, mm -hmm. that narrative never changes. Mm -hmm. I've got to choose to no longer be the victim, which basically means it requires nobody else to validate. Because if, if you're waiting for me to validate a, a stance, and this is on anything, I hold the power. Mm. And, and, and so, the, but, but somewhere in that ancestral line, somebody has to do something different. Some, someone has to say no more. No mm. more sometimes means a revolution. Sometimes, you know, it, but Wayne Dyer basically talked about, you know, I made a decision to leave the tribe. Mm. I did it 12 years ago. I just forgot to tell the tribe. Mm -hmm. As in, like, he doesn't need the tribe's permission. He's already left. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it, it, it's kind of so, if I were to go back to the work of the one, two, three, if we all, if, 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 I, if I'm a better in my zone one, I have more empathy. I have more connection. Why? Because when something happens, I feel it through me. If I'm not connected to me, it's harder to feel through me. If you're doing the same, then, then we can have some pretty funky conversation because this is what's coming up for me. Oh, this is what's coming up for me. Wow, they are diametrically opposite. How do we have conversation to figure out and, and without a judgment on what's right and what's wrong? How do we have conversation to find a way where, where two opposing ideas can coexist? You know, because because I think I think this this world also seems to be so so kind of it's this or it's that, and it's and, so and, polarized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it 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 it's like, you know, can 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 we all be good and can we all be bad? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And because we have all those components, and I think and I think that allowing, a, 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 like a. A, a, a more of a texture within there will allow allowing it. I I, I think it's it, it's that um, I, I used to have it in my manual years ago. The one where you've got the the young lady and the old woman in the same picture, and depending on what someone is shown just before they look at the picture, they'll see either the young woman or the old woman, but they won't see both. And mm. you can have people fighting over what they see what do you mean she's 20 years old she says it's an old hag and they've and it's like what if you both write mm. but but when there has to be only one right that means there's a winner and there's a loser and then it's mm. about then 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 we have a problem mm. Where, whereas yeah mm. it's going back to those places of safety though as well isn't it it's creating those places of safety either within your own body or within the environment. Mm -hmm. And so those traumas must be different if you are born into an environment that has never been safe mm -hmm. because of a systemic racism or 
the patriarchy or you know whatever if it's never felt safe for the generations before you and you're born knowing that it's not a safe space yeah yeah you brought up every day you're reminded of it careful yeah yeah that's it so so so, so huge work when 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 do the shackles get broken yeah in the moment you believe they're no longer there not because someone took them off for you mm. and, and 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 so that's all work here mm. in the body mm. in the mind in the connecting at all and mm. what's really quite exciting about that is that's all really doable and possible and 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 i'm i must thank you it's a it's an uncomfortable topic Mm. But, but 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 it's but but it's it, it's it's in our faces every day anyway yeah yeah and, and, I, and it, I think and i think the challenge is that it's it's hard to have conversation on it because there is so much emotion tied in with it and and, and people who've been hurt and damaged and um and and and, and then i i think the, the part that that always frustrates me in all of these situations in in all of the chaos they're always the opportunists that then use that to flare things up because they're actually doing something else in the meantime you know so like we, we found in south africa that great all this COVID effort and yet corruption went through the roof why because everyone went into their homes and, and it, it got worse and, and so you know so so you have let's say two people who truly want to find answers the, the problem I see in many, many things that need resolution is there enough people out there just looking to profit on, on the chaos and, and on that, that, that polarization. And that, that's the part that, that I find quite sad and quite exhausting. And mm. so the, the pulling back is I must, I must pull back into me and I must look at the things that I can do. What can mm. I do? that can make a positive impact on me on my family my world and then the people around and, and if i can do that from a place of integrity and respect mm. we have a better chance of finding having better conversations and getting things right mm. but but and, and and so can you imagine a, a, a room of 20 people from all races and all nations all with an integrity and a, like a, a knowledge of who they are, celebrating their, their power in their differences. Mm -hmm. I, to, to me, there's a, there's a thing, because remember that I, like, I love to learn. And if, mm -hmm. if you're trying to be the same as me, I've got nothing to learn from you. So, that, so I'm not gonna spend time with you. So mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, I love, I, like, you know, I, I, I love going like to Taipei, and I've got to figure out the culture and I'm teaching with a translator. And, you know, so sometimes I'm saying something that's really funny and it does, and nobody smiles or laughs. And I need to check, did my translator not understand or did I say something really inappropriate, which yeah. usually is that. But, but I love that. And, and, and so that's what I miss the most. It's the, it's the differences. Because I think the differences, just 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 like we were talking um, in between, the the environmental stimulation of like, if the reason why like I'm barefoot is I like the different dirt and differentiation and because it's good for your system. It's it 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 helps your gut health. It helps all your bacteria and all of those things. But it's the same. It's the same in, in interaction with human beings. If we, if we pick a group of people that we surround ourselves with and they're all the same as us, well, you just get people who are going to agree with you all the time. Your ability to grow is going to be stifled and limited. And, and, and so if, if we could get beyond our, our differences as negatives, we could find out like how, how many answers are just there ready that, that mm. would make such a difference to all of us right now. Mm. But, but it starts with literally you and me and Linda mm. starting with ourselves and, 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 and connecting this and this.
and actually mm -hmm. because because you said you felt it in your gut we're gonna have to add the gut as well Helen. Yeah. And, and 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 so <clears throat> more people doing that more opportunity to find places where we can all work together mm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. great conversation thank you yeah well thank thank you both for for sharing this time with me thank thank you for bringing a a, a question that's very different and and challenging and actually you know i'm, I'm glad i'm glad there's something came up in the end but mm -hmm. fascinating how how literally i hit a blank and i think that's mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. not questions that i've put into my system and so therefore mm -hmm. if i've never done that then no answer would ever be possible for coming out mm -hmm. so Absolutely. yay ladies thank you so thank you much. thank you very much enjoyed that Thank you, Austin. Awesome. Have a most you. wonderful day. Bye for now.